Hello everybody and welcome back to Crash Wrath of Cortex. In the last episode, we did all of Area 2. We completed all of those gems. The silver gem, I believe that's the red gem, and obviously the crystal which is needed to get to the boss of this level. Now we're going to go back to mission number one, Arctic Antics, and we're going to get the silver gem, red gem, and blue gem, obviously not in that order. Or, obviously not all at once. We're going to have to go through a couple times. And then we'll do mission three if we have time. Which we may not, we may, I don't know. First, I'm going to focus on getting through it as fast as possible. So, yeah, I'm just going to break every single box I see along the way that has a little time thing on it. You can jump on the seals to kill them, that's helpful. Breaking, breaking, breaking. Give me that, thank you. I don't think you're allowed to die in a time trial. That'd be annoying if you were. Yeah, I think that all the time boxes are there in place of the checkpoint boxes, I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. Might be wrong. Nope. Narwhals. Alright, keep going, keep going, keep going. Break this time box. Break every time box you see, guys. They help. Oh, no. Okay. And come on. Yes. I didn't blow up. Oh, my God. All right. Blow up this box. Yeah, that was a checkpoint box. I remember that, and it's not um, a checkpoint box anymore. Now it's a time box. So I'm just going to keep on going. Just keep going. Obviously, more than just the check box, uh, checkpoint boxes have changed. Otherwise, there'd only be a couple of them. Only, only a couple of the time boxes. Either way, though, I'm just going to plow through this. It's not that hard to get to the end of this without falling in. This is the part that messes me up. But as long as I'm not, as long as, long as I'm walking and not jumping around like an idiot and trying to get all the secrets, you know, then I'll be fine. So, I think I'm going to get out of this with just over a minute. Yeah, minute seven. Hopefully that's enough. It is. Good. Okay, so I'm going to enter my name, for the most part, and hit done. So, that's the red gym. And once we get back, we're going to go right back in, and we're going to we're going to go get the blue gym. No. Yeah, we'll get the blue gym. Because the silver gem is going to be the hardest. Because there's a lot of boxes. There's like 143. Plenty. So let's just head right back in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead because I just basically did a full play through the map. And I'm going to avoid that. Avoid that. But once I've done that, I'm going to go over there. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so I believe the blue gem is unlocked if you go through and unlock the, power, the purple crystal. Which I'm just going to call them power crystals because I'm used to that in tag team racing. Nah, I won't call them that. I don't know if they're called that in this game. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get on this platform. This will take me to the location of the blue gem. Now, I did not watch this far into the video that showed me this. So I needed a reminder for this. Do not bump into those. They will explode. And Okay. Alright. Now, really, don't, don't bump into those bad... No, there goes my last Tiki. Ika Ika, I think his name is. Ah, okay. Careful. Narwhal, thank you. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Alright, sneaky sneaky. Do the sneaky sneaky. No. Yes. No. Goodbye. Okay, so we're going to try that again. Let's see if it's still there. Please still be there. Yes, it is still there. Okay. So I just unlocked that checkpoint. And we're going to go right back there. So I'll be right back, guys, to where I was. Okay, guys, I'm right back to where I was, pretty much. Oh, man, that was really... Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to make that jump on the left because that's the second time I've made that mistake. So I'll be right back, guys, again. Okay, so I made it. It cost me my tiki, but I did make it this time, so I'm going to keep going, please. Yes. And there's the blue gem. Hey, look at that. Okay, so I got the blue gem. Now I gotta make all these jumps. Hmm. Okay, don't jump on... That one. Shisa. Nope. Alright, I ain't getting back up that way, I guess. So, let me go ahead and see if I can win by killing myself and then going to the alternative exit at the beginning at the in this direction. So, let me try that. I'll be right back, guys.
All right, so we went through this exit. Um, I figured out what that green box at the end with the exclamation point on it does. It actually blows up all the nitro boxes so you don't have to do it yourself and hurt yourself every time. And there you go. If you collect the blue gem and then die at the end, then you can just go in the, go in the regular exit and get the blue gem just fine. So there you go. Now we're going to go back in there and we're going to get that silver gem that's been eluding us for so long. Okay, so guys, I'm thinking I spent about 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get that silver gem, and I just did not know how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all the purple crystals first in this area, and we're going to get all the purple crystals in the game, and then we're going to collect all the gems and see the alternate ending that way. So we're going to skip the other gems all together for now. And this is a crazy-ass mission. Bleh, hiccup. This is a crazy-ass mission. That's what this is. You gotta be very careful. Controls are sensitive. Whether you're playing this on Xbox, Xbox 360, I don't even know if it's on other systems, PS2, Game Boy, I don't know. But still, it's insane. Very, very insane. And you gotta be very careful that you don't overdo it. Oh, it. Okay. 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 Alright. Made it through that, made it through that, da 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 da. Da, da, da. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Making sure I'm not missing any boxes, cause that's how I roll. And we got the checkpoint. Good, good. Got the checkpoint. I like getting checkpoints. So you can run down there without running it and run into a wall for protection. So that's good. You can just go down that. And that's a box, and that's a box, and we're gonna keep on going. Whee! Whee! Blew up like 80,000 80, boxes there, that was awesome. Yeah, see, I'm skipping fruit, but I don't really care about fruit. I think they only are for the sole purpose of giving you extra lives when you get a hundred of them. That's the only purpose, so it's crazy. The vibration on the controller right now is insane. You don't even know, man. Uh, okay, there's three directions that I can go. Why am I not having fun with that? Okay, I don't want to run into that. That'd be bad. And those. Those would be bad, too. And I did all of that for four boxes. Okay, that's dedication. I'm just trying to get the silver gem on this run through so I don't have to do it later. That'd be nice. Okay, I don't know if it's this way that I'm going or the other way or what, but I'm going to be careful. Careful, careful, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, that's a slidey thing. So I'm going to avoid going there for now. No, no. Okay, 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 okay. Now get on the elevator. Yes. Yeah, that's what the elevator does. It leads you to those four boxes. Okay, so we're going to keep on going. Keep on trucking. You don't worry about the nitroglycerin green boxes yet. Because if you touch them, you'll blow up. And there's a switch at the end that blows them all up for you. So you don't have to worry it's good. It's all good, guys. It's all good. Okay. Okay. We're fine. I think we've gotten every box so far. That's good. Except the nitroglycerin ones. Eh, I really hope there are no TNT blocks in this stage. That would be bad. I think if you touch a single nitroglycerin block, you're poof. Dead. So, avoid that. I'm thinking that if you do the same for TN, the same will happen with TNT ball. Ooh, we got the crystal. Well, when you get the crystal, that usually means that the end is nigh. Nigh. <laughs> That's such a stupid word. Okay, I don't know why I used it. But nitroglycerin. Okay. No, no, no. Careful, careful, careful. Careful, careful. Careful, careful. Tender, tender. Are you serious? There's nothing but nitroglycerin boxes down here. Okay. 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 I guess that was just like a breaking spot, even though it was also covered in nitroglycerin boxes. That's the end of the level. Okay. Well, that's not what we want, is it? That's the opposite of what we want. That's not what we want. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Okay, not a single nitroglycerin box. Be very careful. Controls are delicate and they're evil. That's what they are. They're evil. Okay, box, 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 
boxes. Box. Yay. Eh. I didn't bother to count the nitroglycerin boxes. Next time I'm trying it for the silver gem challenge, I'm going to bother to do that. Because sometimes when you click the green box at the end that blows them all up, yeah, that prevents you from going back. Occasionally. Oh, okay, I touched the green box that time. <gasps> Ooh! Silver gem. We got it. Yay, we got the silver gem and the purple crystal. So we don't have to go back there ever again. No, I'm just kidding. We got to go back there for the time trial. And is there another gem there too? No. We just got to go back there for the time trial. All right, so we're going to call it an episode here. That was probably a bit longer than 10 minutes. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Crash Wrath of Cortex. Wrath of Cortex. Wrath of Cortex. Not tag team racing. In the next episode of this third playthrough, we will be going into level 4 and getting the crystal there and going into level 5 and getting the crystal there and if we have time we'll be going into the boss fight and guys I want you to let me know how this playthrough specifically is going so far I mean the other six that are going on this week might be sort of hectic by now I think this is episode 5 because I'm doing this the first five episodes of this or so all in the same recording I kinda lost track but I want you to let me know how this is going so far for you so thank you guys for watching this episode of Crash Tag Team Racing. Do not be afraid to leave some feedback for me on how I can improve. Constructive criticism is the epitome of fan base helping of the fan base helping their the people they watch. I that was just a disaster of a sentence. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you guys later. Crash shrugged at me. He's like, ugh.